Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour through Irving, Texas, which is bursting with dining, entertainment, arts, music, theater, diversity, and so much more. So stay tuned. In terms of diversity, Irving is actually one of the most diverse places in Texas and in the United States. It's actually named the 21st most diverse city in the United States. And one great thing about Irving is the location because it is centrally located between Dallas and Fort Worth. So you really get the best of both worlds and you are right next to the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. I believe it's like 17 minutes away, even closer depending on where you are in Irving. And then 20 minutes from downtown Dallas. So if you're commuting from downtown Dallas to work and you're also a frequent traveler, then Irving is an ideal place. Irving is surrounded by other great cities as well, like Arlington, Grapevine, uh, Capel, Grand Prairie, Carlton. Arlington is also one of the most popular suburbs that we have in Dallas. And they have the Six Flags over Texas there, which is major globe ballpark, which the Texas Rangers play at. They're also very rich in art, music, entertainment, dining as well. I love the location of Irving. And Irving is a pretty big suburb as well. It's over 67 square miles. So Irving is home to about 240,000 people. The median home value here is 330,000. The average rent here is about 1,300 for a 853 square foot area. Over 100 shopping places here and over 500 restaurants in Irving. Tons of apartments. Every corner I turn, there is apartment complex. Okay, that's one thing that I noticed every time I go to Irving. One of the main attractions in Irving is the Las Colinas area, which is a master plan development including a balance of residential, commercial, and corporate communities. It is actually the hub for eight Fortune 500 companies like Exxon Mobil, McKesson, which is actually the largest pharmaceutical distributor. They also have Kimberly Clark and etc. This is where the so Las Cleanest areas is kind of like where they're headquartered. And this area also includes some award-winning golf courses like the TPC Four Seasons Las Cleanest. It's a part of a comprehensive award-winning golf resort. This area was designed by professional golfers as well. And it is both for professional and recreational players. The Las Cleanest areas actually has the Mandalay Canals as well, which is a charming part of the Las Cleanest Urban Center. It was inspired by the canals of Venice with numerous dining and retail opportunities with restaurants, shops, hotels, residences, and office buildings. It offers visitors a scenic view and gives a old world feel. So Ben Carpenter, the developer, wanted the canals to, to flow through the creeks into Lake Caroline, which is kind of like where the development is centered around. Lots of people like going on walks here and just relaxing near the water front restaurants. And it's a great place to take pictures as well. And you also have the Toyota Music Factory in Las Colinas, which is a 25 restaurant entertainment concept and I also have the Alamo uh, movie theater here as well and here you can satisfy your taste in food, music, movies and more. They do have a lot of musical events here in the Toyota Music Factory. It's very popular not even amongst people from Irving but all over the suburbs people love going to Las Colinas. And now let's look at other communities that Irving has and neighborhoods and we're gonna look at homes in different price points as well. And we're gonna start with Valley Ranch. Valley Ranch is a 2,400 acre master planned community located in the northernmost portion of Irving. And it features residential, commercial, and retail land use all throughout. And it also includes landscaped canals and pedestrian pathways along with green belts. Now the name actually comes from the fact that this was a working ranch at some point. So they have these copper colored brick structures and walls throughout the city and neighborhoods, which is like their signature color this is the Campion Hollows neighborhood and prices here range from 585,000 all the way up to $775,000. The age of these homes range from 2014 to 2016, so it's a fairly new community. The 
next up we have the beacon hill neighborhood which features mostly mid-sized homes that are very reasonable priced now this is a well-established community and homes here are priced from three hundred thousand all the way up to five hundred thousand and these homes are slightly older they're from 1993 to 1995. Now, this home in particular is priced at $499,000. It's a three bed, two and a half bath with 2,429 square feet. And this was built in 1993, way before I was born, <laughs> like it even matters. This is the La Vita neighborhood. I believe that's how you pronounce it. Uh, I may be mistaken, but I love the Spanish Mediterranean architecture that these homes here have. It is a well-established community that dates back to 2005, and the construction was completed around 2012. Now, this neighborhood also includes villas, condos, and, and single-family homes. Now, the prices here range from 300,000 all the way slightly above 750,000. This home is actually priced at $599,000. It has three beds, three baths, and it is 2,770 square feet. And it was built in 2007. This is the Legends Crossing new construction community that includes villas, bungalows, townhomes, uh, priced over 300000 But I believe this neighborhood is sold out. It did start building in the summer of 2020. By the way, if you guys are liking this content, then please make sure to hit the like and hit the subscribe if you guys want more content like this. Um, liking the video really helps me and motivates me to make more content for you guys. So Irving does have a lot of golf courses other than the one that I mentioned in Las Colinas. It has parks too and walking trails. They have the Campion Trails, Irving's master planned 22 mile green belt. They have picnic shelters, grills, athletic fields. And these trails are actually a part of a regional effort to join the trail system across Irving, Grand Prairie, Fort Worth, Arlington, and Dallas. So if you're a runner, jogger, biker, or anything of that nature, um, you are going to absolutely love the Campion Trails. And going down south from Las Colinas and Valley Ranch area, we have the downtown Irving and Heritage Crossing Station. And the Heritage Crossing Station actually has the Trinity Railway Express commuter rail and a bus station. And they have an abundance of restaurants uh, along the downtown area, shops, uh, parks, and events that happen here all year. Several museums that we have as well. We have the Heritage Park here, which is home to Irving's first water tower, windmill, library. Visitors love exploring this park and taking a step back in time. The park also contains one of Irving's most oldest structures, the Castor Cabin. Then we have the Heritage House, which is Irving's co-founder. Um, his brother built this home in 1912. And several other museums here as well, but I don't want this to be a history lesson, but just know that Irving is rich in history. And if you're interested in that, then downtown area will be an amazing place to go visit. Also have the Irving's Art Center, which is kind of centrally located. It's not too down south. It's not too up north. And this is a 10 acre art center that caters to all ages within the community. This is where they have um, performing and visual arts. So if you guys are interested in music, arts, and theater, and you're very rich in that, or you're even involved in that, maybe you're a musician or artist, then I feel like Irving is gonna be a really nice place for you to express yourself or maybe get involved in the communities as well. So a lot of people that I know personally that are involved in the like theater field or the art field actually live in Irving and work there because of that reason. Unlike other cities in the suburb, 
Irving has a nice transportation system, okay? It has the railway system and it has the buses kind of all throughout Irving. And maybe that's because it's really close to Dallas because I've noticed that as you spread further and further away from Dallas, your transportation options get less and less. So I really like that Irving is very transportation friendly. Um, sometimes if you don't wanna take your car, you can go ahead and take the public transit system. And it obviously has the Dallas Fort Worth International Airport. So that's great. The education system in Irving. Um, Irving is home to many private and charter schools. Among them are Christian, Catholic, Muslim, college prep, and honor schools. Um, also located in Irving is the Uplift North Hills Preparatory, which is a charter school that ranks in the top 1% of the nation, which is amazing. So I do have a nice amount of middle elementary and some high schools spread around um, Irving, and they have universities as well around the area they actually have the university of dallas which is the fourth best university in all of dallas fort worth according to niche.com have the ut dallas at richardson which is like right there and you have south methodist university which is in dallas and then you have unt in denton so you do have a nice amount of universities around irving and inside of there as well, so that's good. But Irving is definitely a desirable place. And I also noticed that the market in Irving versus like the market up in uh, North Dallas, like the McKinney, Frisco, Prosper area is far less competitive and homes are much more affordable in the Irving area as well. You know, it's much easier to secure a home there, even though like it really just depends on the real estate agent that you have. So Irving does have shopping, but it does lack in upscale shopping and things of that nature, but you do have the uh, shops at Willow Bend and uh, Legacy West in Plano, and then you got the Stonebriar Center up North and Frisco, and then you got the Dallas Galleria and the Highland Park uh, shops in Dallas as well, and other several shopping places in Dallas, Grand Prairie outlets as well. That's one thing that I noticed that does kind of lack in the shopping area. I mean, it does have some shopping places, um, but um, nothing that really matches with my expectations. So if I was living in Irving, I would definitely be going to Frisco, uh, Dallas, Plano. Hope you guys got some insight in Irving. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe if you guys want more content like this. Again, I am a real estate agent, so don't hesitate to reach out to me, you guys, um, for your buying and selling needs. I'm always going to be here. My contacts are going to be all in the description box below. Make sure to check out my other videos as well where I go around other Dallas-Fort Worth suburbs and neighborhoods. So make sure to check that out and I hope to see you guys in my next video.